Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, the, the directions have us simplifying this, right? And when you kind of look to simplify a problem like this, you got to start thinking about, well, what are the things that we've looked into? Um, you know, one thing is trying to, uh, one thing is, you know, always try to do adding and factoring. Um, one thing is looking for your Pythagorean identities, which this doesn't have. Next thing is just simply just looking to do sines and cosines. See if we can do anything with sines and cosines. And we can't really do anything directly with sines and cosines. If I turn this to, a, to my cosines and sines, I get sine um, 1 minus sine over cosine. Okay? So I can actually combine these up, but I'm just going to kind of go in a different direction because I want to show you something that we can do. Um, you know, you would be able to combine these to 1 minus sine over cosine. Okay? But then again, you're still going to have to do more work because 1 minus sine doesn't do give you anything. Over cosine, that's not going to give you anything. So you're still going to have to do some more work uh, to, to simplify this. One thing I'd like you to look into, and just this is like a rule that we can, um, something to look for. Remember, Pythagorean identities help us you know, convert between sine, or, sorry, secant and tangent, right? We know that the Pythagorean identity has secant and tangent. So what is a way for me to be able to take secant of x, Chase, and tangent of x and convert them into uh, my Pythagorean identities? Well, what I can do to make these square if I multiply by my conjugate, which is secant of x plus tangent of x, okay, the reason why I'm going to make the plus, because now, look at I have the same front two terms, the same last two terms, and I have a plus and a minus, which we do is our difference of two squares, right? Secant of x plus tangent of x. Got to make sure you multiply the top and bottom. So when I do that, I now obtain 3 times secant of x plus tangent of x all over, this is, can now become secant squared minus tangent squared of x. Okay, now why would you want to do that? Why would you even think to do that? Well, the reason why I'd like to do that because now when they're squared, I can use my Pythagorean identities, right? Yes. So secant squared becomes tangent plus squared plus one. Plus one. So now I have 3 times secant of x plus tangent of x. All over, I can do tangent squared of x plus 1 minus tangent squared of x. Well, now my tangents are going to cancel out. I'm just with the plus 1. Anything divided by plus 1 is going to give you a numerator. So therefore, my final answer is going to be 3 times secant of x plus tangent of x which is, is going to be a simplified version of this, okay? Because obviously you got rid of your fraction. Um, what happens to the one on the bottom? It's just, divide, you know, three divided by one equals three. So it just divides divides into it. Okay, that's really about it. Let's go. So, yes? I don't understand how they cancel. How do they cancel? What do you mean how they cancel? Tangent of squared of x minus tangent of squared of x. Oh, okay. And then that cancels out, yes? Okay, and the even and odd identities, why does the cosine and secant of a negative number equal a positive? Hold on, let me just shut this off and out.